Good morning, Jackie here from Legally Wise Women, uh, here today to talk about what traditional lawyers are doing wrong from the perspective of uh, helping women get through litigation, um, of having better results, um, and realistically the difference as well between a traditional lawyer versus a sort of more uh, new new age, um, new law lawyer, um, is that uh, newer lawyers will do have much more arrangements for fee paying, particularly fixed fee. Uh, they will also potentially unbundle their services. They're far more open to talking about the engagement process and how it's going to be project managed. Uh, and you can have those conversations and ask those questions up front, whereas uh, a traditional lawyer really doesn't like being questioned about those things. So the mistakes that a traditional lawyer uh, makes is that uh, they expect the whole matter to be handed over to them so that they, they then become responsible for the whole thing. Now, you can see that when you hand over part of your life to someone else um, who is motivated uh, not it might not be their one, number one motivation, but um, the longer a matter is prolonged for, the more they earn. So they are not necessarily motivated to resolve something quickly. So if you've handed over part of your life to someone who is not motivated to resolve it, to prolong something, uh, then you have potentially just created far more costs for yourself than you might otherwise have had. Uh, not only that, but uh, they are making decisions which might not be in your best interest sometimes. So just bear that in mind. Um, another uh, mistake that often traditional lawyers make is that when they first meet you, they start setting you into a position very early on. This position also doesn't necessarily serve you very well because the position then sets you up. To, uh, sorry, phone call came through in the middle of that. Um, so the positioning early on sets you up to go down uh, a longer, more litigious, litigious sort of pathway. Uh, so that positioning happens. Um, they tell you what you should be going for rather than giving you uh, lots of options and exploring each of the various options without c cementing something in early. So a more new law lawyer will keep more options on the table and not sort of cement you into a particular pathway very early. And as I said at the beginning, uh, a more traditional lawyer is not necessarily open to having you help project manage um, or guide the process. They innately project manage or case manage how they've traditionally done it forever. And sometimes they can't even articulate how or why something has to happen a certain way. And they're not used to questioning uh, different stages and so there's very little scope to be able to understand or project manage certain parts yourself. So there you are. Um, they Traditional lawyers serve their roles in some aspects very, very well and they've also done very, very well in the past by behaving in this certain way. However, moving forward, particularly with access to justice so low and legal expenses getting higher and higher and time in court getting longer and longer, it can't keep being done the same way. And so looking for one of these more new law sort of lawyers is really potentially going to set you up to have things done quicker, cheaper and in a way where you still have far more control of the outcome. So when you're starting to look around and vetting lawyers and having those initial conversations or uh, seeing how they work, that's also what you're looking for. I hope that is helpful. And uh, 
I'll also be jumping in and doing far more on this and unbundling into the Facebook group. So if that is relevant for you and learning how to engage with a lawyer who is happy to do unbundled legal services, then jump on into our uh, Facebook group, uh, Legal Support for Women over there. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you next Monday and I hope you have a great week.